Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement. This week what we are going to do is focus on stage combat. Stage combat is one of the most useful things that you can be trained in within the performing arts, but it's also incredibly dangerous and a lot of times people will try to do stage combat moves without proper training and that usually ends up with some, someone being hurt. We don't want that. We don't want you to be hurt. We want you to have long, healthy, productive careers. And so we are going to go over this week a bunch of common moves that you are going to use throughout your career and you'll know how to do them safely. So let's get started. The first thing with stage combat that you have to understand is that it is not combat. It has more in common with dance than it does with actual combat. A real fight is sloppy and it's not really pretty or fun to look at. But in a movie, we need to see the story unfold. And so you can usually count out the beats of fight choreography with like one, two, three. One, two, three. In dance, everything is about line and fluidity of movement. The violence is only being used to help tell your story and it's almost used as punctuation with your story. If you're having a really violent story where it's nothing but violence, your audience almost always gets bored. They really do. But if violence is used in a way to tell your story and it's used as punctuation, it can be really devastating. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. No. Was I rushing or was I dragging? Oh, no. Count again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference. Really haunting. Shout. What do you have to frost? or really cool, depending on what your story needs. It can also be very funny as well. Fine. Oh, my neck! How's it feel now? All right. Everything in stage combat can be boiled down to the relationship between predator and prey. The person who is the prey in the relationship. They are the ones who are controlling the movement. They are the ones who are selling and controlling the violence. The predator, your sole job is to keep your partner safe. So the first exercise that we typically do in class is called predator and prey. And what you do is you line everyone up and the first person in line is the prey. And they have to run around screaming around the room and the, pre the predator is the person right behind them. And they chase them and as soon as they lock eyes, they start to growl ah! and you keep eye contact and the prey goes ah! and dies and you keep that relationship going the entire time one going ah the other one going ah! and you slowly lower yourself to the ground and you die ah! and funny enough Everything you do in stage combat is going to be a variation of that one exercise, of this one singular exercise of predator and prey. One of you is the aggressor, one of you is the prey. Now the predator, your job is to slowly lower your prey safely and make sure that they're not going to land on somebody. So if I'm making you go down, but I see you're going to land on something, then I can turn my body, turn my head and guide you in a different direction. It's a dance. I'm helping guide you through and you're, you, the partner who is dying, you're selling the violence, right? Everyone thinks you're being hurt because you are selling it. But you have to have trust with your partner that your partner is going to keep you safe while that happens. As soon as that happens in the class, as soon as your prey is dead, now the predator becomes the prey and you get chased and the entire exercise goes all over. Now the eye contact in this is very important because it's what we call eye contract. If I'm going to do a move and you're not ready for it, then I can't do the move. It's not gonna be effective and I can hurt you. 
The eye contract is what you do to check in with your partner to make sure that they are ready and both of you are ready because the illusion of violence is being sold by both of you, not just one. We can't do that in online, but what you can do is upload a quick video. I want you to be the aggressor and you also dying. And so you understand the difference between the two relationships. And what we are going to do is you guys are going to upload those videos. We're all going to laugh and enjoy them. And we're going to move on to the next exercise. All right, everybody. I can't wait to see your videos and I'll see you very soon.